Man, this sucks. We all know this man right here, the legendary funny man himself, Mr. Robin Williams, passed away on Monday, August 11th. Yeah, sorry folks, it wasn't Justin Bieber this time. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm just kidding. But seriously, I'm heard about his death. My mother was looking around her laptop and she told me that he died. Both of us were shocked. Now first, we thought it was probably just a rumor or a joke, just hoping it wasn't true, like the rumors about Paul McCartney being deceased. Why do people do that? Why do they make up stuff saying so-and-so died, then find out it was not true? People stop doing that because it's not fun, you're just pissing people off. Paul McCartney is still kicking and I'm glad he's still alive doing what he loves to do. I wish Robin Williams' death was a rumor because all of a sudden, on the television, the E! Channel was talking about his death. In my mind, I'm like, oh no, what the heck is going on? Why? So apparently Robin Williams committed suicide due to dealing with depression and there was also money worries involved. He had money problems where he was struggling. Robin Williams apparently a first tried to uh, slit his wrist but I guess that kind of didn't work. So then he pretty much just tied a belt around his neck where he suffocated and died. Because usually you hear people, you know, committing suicide by usually sometimes putting a rope over their necks. This man, this poor man used the belt instead. A belt. A belt. And that, that's just messed up that he suffered like that. That's even worse. I mean, you didn't expect to hear about a class act in Robin Williams committing suicide. That is what's so shocking about it. Not just his death, but him taking his own life away. We all remember him from Mork and Mindy that ran from the late 70s to early 80s. Nanu Nanu. He also did stand-up comedy on the side. We can't forget about the movies he accomplished. There was Mrs. Doubtfire. That is such a classic, such a funny movie. I remember watching as a kid at my Nana's along with Flubber. We all remember him voicing Genie in Aladdin. There was Jumanji, Good Will Hunting with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. That's what Brian told Stewie in that one Family Guy episode. Robin Williams, it's not your fault that you were depressed and ended your life. It was the demons. Curse you demons. I bet it was the demons. And I bet people are wondering to themselves, why would a rich, famous, funny man in Robin Williams would take his own life? Have you ever heard of the quote, money can't buy you happiness? There are some rich people who can have all the money in the world, but can still be unhappy. Some people who are not rich, struggling financially can be unhappy, or can be happy because at least they still have food to eat and a roof over their heads. There are comedians out there who use drugs to get them through depression. Look at what happened to Chris Farley. He had issues and he died so early. Died the same way um, as John Bellucci, who was also close friends with Robin Williams. And since Bellucci's death, Mr. Williams went cold turkey from drugs for two decades. Robin Williams went to rehab, tried to get some help. I heard that last month he was happy, even the day before he died he was happy. But it seems as though he was happy on the outside, but sad on the inside. You just never know. He was only 63 years old. He had so much to live for. He had so much movie projects to continue. I know he was trying to make a comeback to television. He was on the show The Crazy Ones with Sarah Michelle Gellar on CBS. That show only lasted for one season since it was canceled four months before Robin Williams' death. The ratings for The Crazy Ones probably wasn't looking so hot, so who knows. Maybe Robin Williams was depressed about the cancellation and was afraid that his comeback to television was doomed. I mean, four months after the cancellation of The Crazy Ones, he passes away. Sarah Michelle Gellar was devastated about his death. She posted some pictures of her and Robin Williams together. A lot of celebrities sent their condolences. Ellen DeGeneres, the President Barack Obama, Bill Cosby was heard about his death. 
I want to send my condolences to the Williams family and his friends, especially Robin Williams' wife, Susan Snyder. She lost her husband, and they were only married for three years since him and his second wife, Marcia, divorced in 2010. I am still shocked and going out of my mind about his suicide. It's always the good ones that always have to leave. Why couldn't it have been Nicki Minaj? <laughs> Again, just kidding. I don't wish death on Bieber and Nicki. I just rather they go smoke weed and make Nicki Barbie dolls instead of making horrible music. He has so much to live for, so much movies to continue. There was supposed to be a Mrs. Doubtfire too with Robin Williams, you know, back in action. But it looks like it ain't happening. You can try to find someone else as a replacement, but Robin Williams is Mrs. Doubtfire. And it's not Mrs. Doubtfire without him. So what's the point of the Mrs. Doubtfire 2? That sucks. And I know one person, Taco Paco 120, said we shouldn't be mourning. We should be honoring his life and what he achieved. I know, that's fine. I get that. But it still hurts to hear about him committing suicide using a belt around his neck suffocating like that oh my goodness all I can say is rest in peace Robin Williams and he doesn't have to suffer anymore his legacy will live on of course he made people of all ages including the kids laugh their butts off and make them feel happy and I know the kids are crushed about his death so tell me where you were when Robin Williams died and your reactions did you cry it's okay if you did. Don't bow up your emotions. Let it out. It's perfectly fine. And tell me your favorite movies by him and how you remember him by and all this stuff. And also, if you tend to be having problems with depression, make sure to get help. You know, get help as soon as possible. Try to get help as soon as possible before it's too late. Never going to be another guy like Robin Williams ever again. <sighs> All right, well, that's it. See you later. Day comes and night falls For the rest of our lives we'll miss y'all And even though life must go on We still mourn while wishing y'all were home As day comes and night falls For the rest of our lives we'll miss y'all And even though life must go on We still mourn while wishing y'all were home